Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel here. In this installment we're going to talk about uh, delivery of HHO to the intake of an automobile to uh, aid in the combustion process and hopefully supplement the the gasoline that goes in and decrease the amount of gasoline consumption by a very significant amount. Uh, there are a lot of differing views on how to go about in injecting the uh, HHO into the vehicle for the most efficient production of, of uh, usable energy. My personal belief is that it should be proportional to the output power of the engine and the best way to do that is by metering the airflow going through the intake ductwork before the butterfly. So my preferred method, at least the first one that I'm going to test, will be to, to simply uh, inject the HHO in the ductwork in front of the plenum butterfly to uh, be sucked into the intake manifold and burned with the gasoline. What I've constructed here is a Venturi. Much like a carburetor in an automobile, you can see I've taken and rounded off the top edge and flared out the bottom edge. And if you look inside, you can see the tube that I have stuck through the sidewall that, that uh, extends to the, to the small diameter of the Venturi where the uh, air velocity increases, hence the pressure decreases, creating a vacuum signal to draw more HHO into the intake. This Venturi started life as a couple of pieces of PVC that I uh, fitted together. They were, they were snug to begin with and I simply glued them together with PCV adhesive PVC adhesive and I uh, used a file for the rounded edge and then I took a, a, a drill in a drill press and kind of held it against the side of the drill to make the flared end, at least to rough it out and then I finished that off with a file also. came out extremely well. Uh, this is actually a cross section of the Venturi and how it operates. It is actually drawn to scale and you can see here this is the tube from which the HHO is fed coming into the center of the Venturi where the velocity is highest and then back out toward the butterfly of the plenum in, in the vehicle. In just a moment I'm going to show it to you assembled in inside the duct itself. Um, I, did, I just wanted to m mention that the, uh, the rest of this the pipe that feeds the HHO began its life as a big pen and I just salvaged the, the pieces and used that to create this little beauty. Stand by, I'll show it to you uh, installed inside the inside the ductwork. This is the ductwork upside down but uh, I had to mount it this way because of the uh, close camera angle here but this is the side of the ductwork on top that feeds the air into the butterfly. This fitting right here is the positive crankcase ventilation fitting and uh, it is in front of the venturi that I've created. This is the new feed tube that I've added and if I spin this around just a little bit you can see All right. And what I did to seal this off was I have a piece of 3 8 inch inside diameter uh, flexible hosing in, in a compressed fit through the, through the hole that I drilled in the side of the plastic. And then I pushed this outer casing of the pen into the tube extending inside the ductwork. And inside you can see, let's see if I can get some light on that for you. That's pretty good. You can see the Venturi pretty clearly. It's assembled in two pieces. Um, just like the, the pen is assembled in two pieces. I dropped it my fair share of times while trying to line these pieces up inside. But uh, preliminary results with the with the tube entering the side of the venturi flush to the edge of the venturi I was able to pull about one inch of mercury 
at wide open throttle, 6,000 RPM on a four-cylinder 2.2 liter engine. Uh, with that little wedge cut, I expect to be able to pull substantially more, and I hope to have some very good numbers for you on that soon. Uh, my preliminary findings, of course, were quite impressive, and this should even be better. So when this thing is tooling down the road, I will have some uh, additional results to share with you as well. Zero Fossil Fuel signing out for now. Everybody have fun with your HHO, and please be careful.